Let's see. Let me see what the comments are saying here. Hold on. You got Astro, you got Morgan, you got Scott Schiller, you got Grumpy J. Grumpy J. Hello, hello everyone. Hope you're having an excellent day today. We're here at the Atlanta Brick Co. store looking at all the awesome Lego. Right now we're watching Michael pour fresh brick onto the pick a brick table and I'm really excited because uh, I love to pick up pieces out of here. Like, look, look at Steven. He's working on a, um, a build right now and he's pulling pieces out of the pick a brick to use them. What do we got, Michael? I think they might plan that. I don't know. Oh, Scott Schiller's dropping the Mark emojis. Love it. Thank you, Scott. I, I want Michael Pog emojis. <laughs> Michael Pog emojis. <laughs> oh, man. How many of those bags are they in? They triple bag them? Triple bag. Wow. That's awesome. Well, I mean, it's good. It's maybe a little bit much. Yeah, we're going to talk to the Wills about this. This is hard to get out for a live stream. Oh, Cactus is asking about the price in the thumbnail set. We can check on that in just a moment. Gary is here. Good to see you, Gary. I'm watching from Washington, Morgan. That's a long ways away. That's awesome. Thank you for joining us today. I used to be from Washington. You lived in Washington? Washington State, yeah. Oh, nice. Yep, it is laundry day at ABC. We got our bricks being poured out here. I'm sorry if it's kind of noisy. That's uh. Pouring out a bunch of Lego will make a lot of noise. Part of the job. There's Steven. I like your t-shirt, Steven. That's very spooky. Yeah, actually, if you hit this with a, um, a black light, yeah. this web glows green. Nice. Very cool. I don't have a black light, though. Sorry, Bobby. Yep. We'll get over to the a couple of nice new sets that are up there on the top shelf. But first, I want to show you guys why Steven is building a building right now. We are redoing a lot of our city area. And as you can see, most of the buildings have been swapped out. A couple of them will go for sale in their respective theme areas, but uh, some of them are, I think, might be disassembled in the long run. We might, uh, you know, we'll see what we do with the excess buildings, but we're going to be replacing multiples of uh, the things that were previously in this city display. So, some of the things that will remain the same are the Star Wars Cantina, you've got Ed's Pawn Shop, Ed's Panorama, and you've got the Sherlock Holmes Museum and the Wizard of Oz buildings are all staying, but everything else has been changed out and will be built instead. Steven is currently working on a pizzeria that's right over here. So the pizzeria is going to be put in there. Morgan says, Mark, save the Emerald City for me. And then Grumpy Jay says, oh, oh Lord, the town has been destroyed. It sure has, Grumpy Jay. It, don't worry. We're building even better stuff to replace it. Yeah, Steven is really excited about it. I'm excited about it. Angie's excited about it. Daniel has not been in today, but when, when he does, we will get him on board as well. It'll be a lot of fun. What days do y'all stream during the week? That's a great question, Astro. We usually stream on Tuesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. We also stream on, it should be Wednesday morning at 9.30 Eastern Time again. And then we also stream on Thursday evenings at 6.30, which is the Joy of Building. Stephen and Joe usually build a set. And then we also stream on Friday afternoons at 3 um, here in the store as well. So that's what we're doing right now. We're doing a store tour, but we're just talking about a little bit of special stuff to introduce us off. Eventually, we'll go look at the sets and answer questions and have fun with that. So as you can see, there's a lot of exposed wiring. We're going get, to get that covered up with new buildings. So it'll be pretty cool once it's done. But yeah, a lot of exciting things. I'm, I'm halfway done with my building, which is going to be on this corner. It's going to be another coffee shop. So that will be put in there in just a minute. So... Stay tuned for that. We might post updates on our social medias and maybe on the community tab page. Um, one thing that I wanted to do for you guys in the ABC uh, Superfans membership program is that you'll be able to send us an email with a picture of your signature minifigure. And it, we will do our best to recreate this minifigure and put it in the city for you. So 99 cents a month, you get to live in our Lego city. That's one of the things I'm planning on doing on the community tab very soon. So keep an eye out for that. So is the new Jurassic Perk coming? It's actually not going to be Jurassic Perk. It's probably going to be Brick Bucks or something Starbucks oriented. So that will be on the corner. I've got most of it built already. Is it still over there, Steven or Joe? No, we put it in your office. Put it in the office. All right. Well, we'll have to see it later. But um, it's, it's going to be awesome. It's got some great color schemes already. So, A grumpy fig running loose in the city. Absolutely grumpy, Jay. Could even be a Nexonite figure. Oh, no. We would have to grumpy do it. 
We would have to do a, as close as possible with the, with the pieces we have. We don't have all the Lego pieces, but we do have most of them. Grumpy Jay's face on an X Knight figure in our Lego City. Imagine, it's it's almost a possibility. It's crazy. I picture Grumpy and me as the two old guys yelling from the balcony at the Muppet Show. <laughs> I could put you guys on a balcony if you want, Morgan. Whatever you want to. Hey, Mark, do you have the Tony Stark minifig from Bigtober? Uh, let me ask Joe. He would know. We might have that. That's a good question, Rex. So, Joe, do we have the Tony Stark minifigure from Bricktober? Maybe? Possibly, Rex. We're, we're checking on it. Can you show Lego Star Wars when you get a second? Absolutely, Astro. We'll head over there in just a minute. We do have quite a bit of Lego Star Wars on the top shelf, which is what I'm going to cover as soon as we... No, I have Okay, we don't have the Tony Stark from Bricktober. Gotcha. Sorry, Rex. Don't have that one right now. But, yeah, let's go look at the... Big UCS Star Wars sets we have up here because we did get a few new ones just recently. Let me get closer so we can see it. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I could hear Vogan just like, oh my gosh. Isn't it awesome? So, this is the Republic Dropship ATOT sealed and mint condition box. This is one of the rarest and one of the more expensive non UCS sets you can buy. I mean, you really can't find it anywhere except maybe Amazon or eBay for very, very, very high prices. And, and we also don't have it for cheap because the going price on this one is $2,500 for a brand new Mint in the Box ATOT. I've never seen this one sealed, so that's how rare this is. I've worked here six years, never seen one like this, so this is pretty amazing. Oh, sure, skip over the top shelf sets. <laughs> yes, Gary, we've got Technic here as well. We've got the 6x6 all-terrain tow truck, motorized excavator, and the Mercedes-Benz, how do you pronounce it, Aroch? And uh, Vestas wind turbine. But yeah, this is the one that people are uh, in the store are excited about. I imagine you guys will be too. So Republic Dropship ATOT, very, very nice. Just got it in. It's on atlbrick.com right now if anyone wants it. We've also got the TIE Interceptor X-Wing. Imperial Star Destroyer, Blockade Runner, Moss Isley Cantina, Death Star 2, so another Death Star 2. There's a certified and a sealed one, so that's really cool. We rarely get two of these. Two, two, have, two we ever, have we ever two had twos. two Death Star 2s? We have two 2s right have now. Two Death Star twos. No, but we'll, have we... Have two Death Star 2s. I think it's the first. I know we've had a couple of the yeah. minifigure we scale Death Stars. Death Star 2s. Yeah, <laughs> it's getting a bit of a it's a bit of a tongue twister over here, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've ever had two in the same place, so that's pretty fun. Because Death Star One was destroyed, duh. <laughs> Thank you, Grumpy J. <laughs> that's why we have two Death Star Twos because the the first one was destroyed. We also have this pretty desirable uh, what's this called? The Bespin Duel set. Mm, Cloud City. Cloud City set? What is it called? Where is Betrayal it? at Cloud City. Betrayal at Cloud City. It's not the duel. That's the smaller yeah, one. Betrayal. And this is priced at what? A thousand? Uh, so if you see right here where it reads Betrayal at Cloud City. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's name. the name. Wow, I didn't know that. It's cool. Okay. <laughs> so we've got the Sydney Opera House, of course. The Cafe Corner over here on the end. Some Pirates and Ninjago as well. But uh, yeah, those Star Wars ones are pretty special. Even among all these other special sets. So couple other awesome ones up there. You got Rock Raiders, Insectoids, Jurassic World, the Mersk, tr uh, I almost said Mersk Trains, the Mersk Ship, the Shipping Cargo Container Ship. You got the Technic Limited Edition Truck. You got Jabba's Sail Barge. You got the Mill Village Raid, Diagon Alley, Jabba's Palace, and the Goblin King Battle. Also the Battle of Five Armies, 50 years of on track. Crocodile Locomotive, the um, uh, Pop-Up Book Set, Falling Waters over there, so. That's the top shelf, the newest editions being those Star Wars UCS sets, so. Let's see where the comments are. Brick Jedi's here, good to see you, Brick Jedi. For a certified Death Star 2, since the, the store normally sorts by color, how are the pieces bagged in that set? I'm guessing they're still by color, but the bags for light gray are probably done by size, I'm guessing? However... Yeah, Tra Tracy does all of our Star Wars. Yeah. And she is extremely meticulous, mm -hmm. so she has rhyme or reason for everything. Yeah, so. it should be pretty orderly when you open up the package. Correct. Yes, sounds good. We're actually going to go over and talk to 
Tracy and Nathan about the Star Wars sets soon, so that you can expect that on the channel in the next couple of weeks. Here's another new thing we've got in the store. It's the Lego Masters Trophy. It's also one of those rare days when you have both Steven and myself working at the same time. Usually we have opposite schedules, but uh, yeah, we're both here on Friday. So if you want to catch both of us, this is probably one of the few times it happens. I'll be so. here Monday if anybody wants a picture yeah. of me. Yeah, exactly. If, it won't be... Go ahead and snap a picture now. There you go. Screenshot this, guys. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Chris. Yep. <laughs> So yeah, if anyone wants to see the trophy and the people who won it, check it out. Oh look, there's us. That's cool. See? All right, and uh, here's some more sets that we got in. I think these are mostly on trade today, but there's a couple certified ones in there too, so they might have just finally made their way back up and back. I'll read out the comments here. Star Wars. For Star Wars, can you get a close-up of all the built Millennium Falcons? Yes, we can, Morgan. Or the Simpsons comic guy, worst show ever. <laughs> Those darn teenagers, says Grumpy J. You have the Tony Stark from Malibu Mansion. Yes, we should have that one. If it's on the website, we definitely have it. So, let's see. If someone were to bring in a retired UCS set in a sealed shipping box, would y'all be able to give a, an offer without opening the shipping box? Um, we'd probably still have to inspect it. Yeah, we have to look at the, we don't have to open the set usually, but we do have to see the set, so, yeah. And normally it doesn't change the price too much if you take it out of the shipping box. It is cool, and we would probably still keep it in that, but, um, yeah, we don't necessarily, uh, we have to check it, for sure. Let's see, uh, sorry I'm late, had to catch up on Heart Lake City drama. That Marcel is such a slime ball. <laughs> Bricklore, yep. Marcel is pretty creepy sometimes. I just gotta say, he, he's all the, all the time. Marcel's creepy all the time. Poor Marcel, yeah. He's just so creepy. Yep. He's almost as creepy as, like, uh, I don't know. Almost as creepy as Darth Garth the Cringe, yes. It is a different kind of creepy, that's for sure. But yeah, many more Heart Lake City episodes coming out soon. We have a lot more fun content to explore in these amazing sets. I think one of the upcoming ones is this party boat, which is very, very funny. So, because you got the giant flamingo and it's just hilarious. So, all right. Well, thank you guys for watching those. We appreciate it. They're, they're way too much fun to make. All righty. So, we had a couple requests for Star Wars. So, let's head over there and look at some of the stuff in the Star Wars section. We'll pass by the uh, nuked city while we're going that direction. Star Wars section is closed. What? Michael, what did you, what? Oh no. It seems fine. There's sets here. Do you think Lego will make Black Adam sets? Um, maybe. I heard it was a little bit more on the violent side, so I don't know. It might not end up making sets for it. We'll see. I would, uh, and my guess would be probably not, but there could be. They've made some cool DC stuff in the past, so it's always possible. My camera keeps adjusting the wrong way. Let's see if I can keep it level for you guys. Bricklore says, drama on the sea. I can't wait. Yes. Oh, yes. Drama at sea. Connor says, have you had a chance to get your hand on the Lego Titanic? It is awesome. I have not even seen one built, Connor. I really need to see someone that has it or get it myself. I don't know. It's a little big, and I would probably buy another castle if I was spending more money on Lego right now. I saw the UCS land speeder. Yes, Rex, that's one that we do have. It's right up here behind the Krennic's Imperial shuttle. It is very nice, very sleek. When you get to this size of build, you can get a lot of detail, especially with like the grill, the curved flex tubes. And this should be retail price, which is 240, is that right? 240, that seems pretty affordable. But that's the size of set. I do like that awesome windshield too. That's a cool piece. I wonder if anyone else has gotten that piece and made a mock with it. Probably not, but <laughs> it seems pretty cool. Let's see. Astro says, do y'all have a UCS Slave 1 for sale? I wish. I think we are fresh out of the UCS version of the Slave 1. We do have a couple smaller ones, especially from the older series. We got that uh, older sand green one right there. And I think we have one more to the right over here. And uh, oh, oh, there's a box one. Let me look at that, Michael. That's pretty cool. That one's 180 for that one. It's got some very cool classic looking figs. 
And then you got a slightly newer version right there. Let's look at the built Millennium Falcons for Morgan. I know we got one right here. I'm not sure which version this one is. I think it's one of the slightly older ones because the seams on the little rounded uh, panels, or excuse me, the wedges, are not completely together. Some of the newer ones, like this one up here, have very clean connection points between those big wedge plates. So there's another built slave one right there, the old school one that's at 120. You've got this one down here for $200. Looks like it's uh, the dishes, uh, excuse me, this discs at the back are not printed or stickered, so maybe those are not the right ones. I don't know. Maybe they're supposed to be like that. Somebody correct me in the comments. But I think that's all the built ones we have right now. We actually don't have a ton of them. Unlike most of the time, we usually have a bunch of them. We have like two or three right now. So, yeah. Let's see what we got here. Send Vogan and Grant my way. I go. I got the Titanic built. There you go. Well, Gary, we might have to stop by just to see your collection at some point. Uh, we, we might have to send you an email. What's up, fellow LEGO fans? It's Carter, a.k.a. Friendly Fire 923 Good to see you. Thanks for joining the live stream. Sure appreciate it. That looks like the 2011 Falcon. What is the price? Oh, I, I forgot to give you prices, Morgan. Let's go check on that here. So that one is $100, not too bad. No figures, but $100. This one is $200 because it has all the figures and they look pretty cool. It might be missing Luke Skywalker. I don't see him there. Usually they have Luke Skywalker on board as well. Let's see, we got a couple friends here. Do you have Ninjago City? Says Grape, we can check on that for us here, Grape. Carter also leaves the mark emoji. I love the mark emoji. Daniel picked that um, that photo from one of the videos that me and I think it was Angie did a long time ago. <laughs> from one of the uh, either thumbnail or the live playing of it itself. So we're in Marvel. Let's go over to Ninjago. There's Randy's in the chat. Hello, Randy. Thank you for joining us. That's Randra on the chat. Oh, Ninjago City was here, but I think it was sold. I think actually Joe bought it. So we don't have Ninjago City. We do have Ninjago City docks here. I don't see a price on it though. I'm guessing it's at least $200 because they're pretty collectible now. Don't see a price. I can ask Joe, maybe he took the price tag off. I don't know. So I know Joe was interested in that one too. Get it, Morgan, do it. Jolly to Joe says, hey peeps. Good to see you, Jolly to Joe. How is California doing these days? Is the weather doing pretty good? There's, oh, there's Grumpy J too saying hi to everybody. It also look, looked like one of the Falcons had the minifigs. That's right, Morgan. I think I got back to you on that. Hopefully you're able to see it. The Titanic, just like the movie and the Lego set, it needs to be seen, I think is what he was trying to say. Let's see. Everyone's saying hi to everybody. <laughs> I have the Falcon from 2011. That's nice, Josiah. That's, I don't even think I even have a Millennium Falcon set. I'm not a giant Star Wars fan, but I do like the Mandalorian. So maybe if the Millennium Falcon shows up in the Mandalorian, I will get it. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I'm not going to say it that way. Um, it's one of the few I am missing. Wow, there you go. Weather has been in the 90s. Wow, that's pretty hot over there. That's, that's pretty intense. Do you all sell store display cases uh, sets? Yes, Astro. Actually, we do. Hold on one second. Let me see if we got... I think we had a few over on, on display in Friends. Yes. And we also had one in Ninjago. Let me head over there and show you guys. Oh, also, for those who are interested, we have a boutique hotel in stock, and I think it's just retail price, which should be like $230. So, new sealed, but the box is a little beat up, but not too bad. So this is the, one of the store display cases. I think these were actually acquired from Toys R Us many years ago. And all the items inside are glued, so that's not so good for builders or playing with. But if you like display, they're pretty cool. I don't think the lights work on any of these. They had battery packs, which ran out for quite a, quite a while ago. But this one's 100. This one's 200 for the elves, because they're a little bit more collectible. That egg is pretty sweet. And you got a huge friends display here that's 200 as well. 
So I think we have one Ninjago City display, or Ninjago, um, Lego Ninjago movie display in, but we do have a, quite a few of these in our storage, not at the store. So if you're interested in those, let us know. Shoot us an email at infoatobic.com or all the links are in the description if any of those are interested. Weather is great, just smoky. Oh no, smoky is not great. The price of the docks were on the pink thing on top. Huh. Anyway, um, it's a, um, uh, pufferfish. That's a sticker. Uh, oh, oh yeah, the pufferfish had the yeah. price tag. That doesn't make things confusing. Let's go look at that for people real quick. Yep, Astro got the prices of the displays. Actually, yeah, there's a price in this uh, Ninjago one too. It's a hundred dollars as well. So you got the the green dragon and some of the villain stuff like Garmadon and some of the other things in there. The lights used to work on one of these. I think it was over here. Here's another one. This one doesn't have a price, but I imagine it's about in that $100 price range as well. So let's look at the price on the docks. Oh yeah, <laughs> I missed it. It's right up there. And wow, that's not cheap. This is $700 for a built Ninjago City docks. It is pretty complete. It looks like it has some of the figures, at least most of the figures, we'll see. Hopefully it has everybody on there for that price. Anyway, pretty collectible, pretty expensive. So. I mean, Star Wars display cases would be pretty cool. Oh, well, yeah, they would. I don't think we have any of those on display right now, but we do have them, I believe. Uh, can we see Marvel minifigures, says Carter? Yes, we can look at those. Here's some of our kind of battle pack-esque prices for some of the more soldiery bad guys. So Outriders, AIM Agents, and Chitauri. Five for 20, five for 20, and five for 24. So not too bad. You've got a bunch of the heroes in this section over here, starting with Pepper Potts way up on the top left, and then moving down, you got Iron Man, Captain Marvel, Shang-Chi, Guardians of the Galaxy. You got uh, Black, I almost said Black Widow. Yeah, Black Widow's right down here. Scarlet Witch, that's the one I'm thinking of. You got Black Panther, Valkyrie, Agent Carter, and Captain Carter as well. You got Hulk and Captain America. You got Spider-Man, Green Goblin, Red Skull, Thanos, just a bunch of them. Oh, what are we looking for? Wondering if there's a Groot in stock. There's not one in the case. But I'm pretty sure we have them online. We might be out, but definitely double check on atlpark.com and just use the search button to look for Groot. Ask Joe if he got the Ninjago City. I'm pretty sure he did, but let's double check with him. I'm pretty sure that's what Joe was spending his money on and he hasn't been able to get a castle yet because of that. Joe, the chat is wondering if you were the one who bought the Ninjago City that was on display not too long ago. Uh, yep. yep, there you go. <laughs> that is correct. But a very good purchase it was. It's a very cool set. So. Now he just needs the docks. Now he just needs the docks, yeah. He's got to spend $700 for the docks. Woo! Yeah, that's why I don't have it. Joe did, and I, have, and I have... And I had dibs first. Just kidding, I have one. LOL. <laughs> I would be upset if you got... Uh, uh, if he swiped it before you did, Jolly Joe, because... Uh, we want the customers to get the first dibs, really, and then if there's nobody's buying it, the employees take advantage of that, too. So. There's a sealed Groot for $55 on the site. There you go. Wow. So Groot, apparently more collectible now. So I'm pretty sure we have a set with Groot in him, too. At least the big built one right here. This is 120 for this set. It's only got the four characters, but uh, two of them are pretty collectible. The, the Sakarian is not necessarily super expensive. Nebula's gone up a little bit. Rocket is quite expensive, and Big Groot is very expensive. So, How much was the crazy Star Wars set in the thumbnail? That one was the ATOT, and that was $2,500 for that one. So very, very... Oh, yeah, Morgan's already got the facts there. There it is. But let's go take a glance at it really quick because, I mean, we can't get enough of it, really. It's awesome. Gotta show off the ATOT one more time. 
Yeah. Actually, yeah, if you would, that'd be great, yeah, Stu. Yeah, let's see the pictures on it and everything. Why don't you sit right here for us? Oh, and this falcon's pretty nice, too. I know Morgan likes the older falcon. Oh, yeah, that's sealed. All these old sealed Star Wars sets, man, they're going to be so gone in about a month. So. All right. Well, they could all be gone if someone buy all of them. <laughs> Joe just wants to sell them all before Christmas time. I, I want to refill the top. It's a little bit quieter in the store right now because we're leading up to Christmas, but mm -hmm. I give it a couple weeks. Calm before the storm. And it's going to be nuts. Right after Halloween, things get... Pretty insane. Is a manta? That is okay, a that, wampa. Uh, a wampa. There's a wampa graffiti on the side of the ATOT dropship. Yeah, this is super cool. Let's see the let's see the back. Mm -hmm. We got one of these in built, and I realized what it was because it has the green seats on the inside of the vehicle. And those are somewhat rare. Oh, yeah, I remember that. We had a built half of this set came in once. Mm -hmm. This one has all the stickers though because it's never been open. You got some pretty amazing pieces. So. Hey guys, welcome in. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, fantastic. Look at all the clones that come with. Eight, oh, sorry, six. Six uh, regular clones, clones and you get some pilots. Two pilots. Very nice. A bit of a little army there if you want yeah, to. Yeah, that is. Some, that's not a. Army building. Not, this is a great set. <laughs> not a bad squad. That's a crew of uh, ATOT. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, see it every day. I know that's the white whale set of many uh, collectors, so that's pretty awesome. There you go. Ooh, there's a nice haunted house up here, too. Or the haunted mansion, excuse me. It's pretty cool looking. Pickup line is moving. Time to get all the kiddos home. Have a great weekend, everyone. Yep. See you, Randy. Thanks for joining us. Lone Ranger bad guy Kyle minifig from the Silver Mine? Oh, you're looking for that, Scott? We can look for it here. Lone Ranger fig. Lone Ranger figures, let's see. Let's see which ones we have. Do you have Porsches? We do. Are you looking for Speed Champions ones or larger ones? Let's see. Uh, we were looking for Lone Ranger figures here. And this rug keeps trying to trip people. Hold on. There you go. Lone Ranger is going to be back here by our licensed stuff. And I think it's down here somewhere. No, this is Indiana Jones. There's some Lone Ranger. I don't know which one's named Kyle, though, so we'll have to look for... There's the Union Soldier. There's a cowboy sheriff-looking guy. There's an outlaw guy back there behind the... Uh, Desert Princess, we got um, that guy, he's on the wrong row. But then you got uh, a couple of the characters there, some of the Native Americans, and you got the Lone Ranger himself. So we probably have more in stock too, they're just not out because we don't ha always restock all these back here as often. So um, definitely check out atlbrick.com or just get this QR code really quick if you're watching at home on a TV or your monitor and you can find those figures. So. Let's go look for some big Porsches for Josiah here. Let's go have a look here. I know we've got one big Porsche back here behind Ethan. It's that giant orange one. If you want to step to the side just for a second there, Ethan. You got the That's Porsche 911 GT3 RS, which is, this is still an extremely popular set. And it weighs a ton. <laughs> it weighs a ton. It's got some great wheels and pieces in there. So, very cool. You're welcome, Scott. Hopefully we've got the right one for you. I don't know if he was there or not. So. How do you like the awnings? Ooh, look at that. Very cool, Steve. I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, make sure those awnings don't interfere with the flow of the train. It won't. It won't go past this side. Okay. Sounds good. That, then you should have room with the sidewalk in front of it. Okay. Cool. Can we look at the booths in there really quick? Or no, no, yeah, just show me the back here real quick. Oh, nice. It's very modular. Nice, so you got the, the seats in there, you got the American flag, Italian flag, that's so have, cool. Like, some racing trophies on the top here. Like, mm -hmm. guys into Formula yep, or they win prizes for their pizza, you never know. And Gary says, I'll have an extra large meat lover's pizza, please. That sounds amazing right now, Gary. I've already had lunch today, but that just sounds amazing. So. Mm. Hey, it's Vogan from the dynamic duo Grant and Vogan. But Grant is playing basketball, so yeah. 
He's probably working out right now, poor guy. Grant's a bum? Oh, no. Poor Grant. Grant tries so hard. Do you have sets in the thousands of dollars? Oh, yeah, for sure. Great. So pretty much everything on that top row is near that value or more. Like that one on the end, the cafe corner, $3,000 for a new sealed one. 500. Seventeen? Eighteen? Eleven. Two thousand. Those are all under a thousand over there. And this one's what, four or five hundred dollars here? Oh, won't be bad. So yeah, lots of very expensive Lego sets on that top shelf, especially those UCS ones. Those all came out like twenty years ago though. So I mean it, Yeah. <laughs> For a new mint sealed Lego set. That's the original Falcon. Yeah. Sealed. It's amazing. Uh, $400 farm. Yep. Because of the cows. Those cows are sick. Yeah, those cows are what? Um, probably almost $100. Yep. Just for the little piggies. It's amazing. Yep. Indiana Jones, dinosaur. So, I mean, start buying people. Just. Yeah, go to the com. Joe's getting antsy because it's been slow. <laughs> But it's all good. $3,000? That's right, Edwin. Pretty crazy. Oh, Morgan's like, mmm, pizza. And he dropped the pepperoni emoji. I love it. Pepperoni the minifigure. So. I'm surprised you still have Indiana Jones sets. I know. We still have that one. I don't know if we still have the the Egyptian uh, temple with the Ark of the Covenant in it. I think we do, actually. We still do? I, I gotta go show that off to the stream. Someone might want that. So. Let's go look at it. Let's go back here, and I'm pretty sure they are making new Indiana Jones sets, and one of the likely candidates for an idea is going to be this one back here, but the Lost Tomb set is pretty awesome. Certified complete, $100. I mean, I'm tempted by that one because that was one of my favorite sets as a kid. It's very, very nice. And we've also got the Mystery Machine, which is a really good set. Uh, unfortunately, LEGO hasn't made Scooby-Doo in a long time, so it's very collectible, but we got two of them sealed right now. So. Mark the Nexo Slayer. That's right, Will Lamb. Let's go look at some Nexo Knights. We are at 19 likes. If we get to 40 likes before the last 30 minutes of the live stream have uh, elapsed, then I will put on the Nexo Knight armor, but I don't know if we'll get there. I don't know. It's jumped up to 20 now. We'll see. Some of the top shelf sets cost the price of a 98 Honda Accord. I drive a 2003 Honda Civic, and I that was not too far the value of my car a couple years ago. It's just crazy. Scooby Dooby Doo, looking for you. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Grubber J dropping the next night emoji. Disgusting. All right, no, it's fine. I know everyone loves Nexonites and they're super popular because they're so cool and meh. Meh. I mean, this is the one Nexonite set that's like, maybe you could make an argument that possibly in some parallel universe this is considered cool, but uh, let's just keep going. Anyway, <clears throat> what do we want to look at next, guys? Any requests? I'm probably going to go check out Speed Champions here. They're sort of unbreakable. <laughs> oh, Scott, that is... Oof, that's... Mm, great dad joke. That's funny, Scott. All right. You must have the driver's seat the whole... You must have the driver's seat the whole back. Yeah, exactly. That's right, Gary. Uh, we've got the Ford Mustang. Got some McLarens. We got uh, the Chevrolet Camaro. Can we look at the Lego Star Wars action figures? Actually, we can. And Plump Daddy wants to see Space Police. So let's look at uh, the Star Wars action figures, the buildable figures. And then let's go look at uh, Space Police. I'll hug the whole way back, LOL. That sounds a little bit better. So. so we've got the ones in box right over here. Starting with the Stormtrooper Commander, a.k.a. the guy who has the worst aim in the squad. And then you got uh, First Order, Praetorian Guard, Imperial Death Trooper, Han Solo. 
Are those two different versions? No, that's the same version of Han Solo. There you go. You got Rey from The Rise of Skywalker. Oh, no, 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 no. Rey from uh, The Last Jedi, I think. Sergeant Jin Erso, a Scarif Stormtrooper. You got Jango Fett. You got Baze. And a few more Jin Ursos. This Darth Maul looks pretty cool. It's got a great uh, action feature. On the back, you turn that knob and he just starts swinging his lightsabers. It's pretty cool. I think you misspelled <laughs> unbearable. <laughs> uh, Daniel dropping the sass. I love it. Mark, get your head in the game. High School Musical. Exactly. I wish Lego and High School Musical would team up. That would be an amazing combination. I should make a Lego Ideas project. I could do that. I could do that. I got the Speed Champions Lambo, and it looks really nice. That's a good one, I've heard, Josiah. Brain, fingers, keyboard, not communicating. Oh, well. <laughs> no worries, Gary. Sometimes I just pretend to understand comments so that I don't sound too silly. So. Oops. Let me get back. I don't want to select the comment. You turn the Darth Maul wheel, and he splits in half. Oh, no. That's terrible, Morgan. He does not split in half. He swings his lightsabers because he's cool. I know he died in the first movie he appeared in, but it's still, he's still cool. All right, uh, do you know they made a Lego Star Wars action figure of the Darth Vader with a removable mask? I didn't know that. I don't remember the removable mask section. That's pretty interesting. We've got the built ones over here, though, we can look at. There's a built Jango Fett. There's Captain Phasma looking way taller than Jango Fett. That's interesting. You've got Han Solo. You've got the Scare Stormtrooper and the Snow Trooper. Oh, no, 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 it's the... Uh, Solo Magna Boot Guy. I don't I don't what's the name of this guy? Somebody tell me this. It's from Solo, and he's like a stormtrooper variant. But that's about all I know about him. I don't know his name. I once knew his name, but I forgot. Range Trooper. Thank you, Plump Daddy. Range Trooper. Why is he called Range Trooper? Should be called Fabulous Snow Coat Trooper. No. You don't like that, Michael? No. It's accurate though. It's terrible. Alright, anyway. <laughs> I'm getting downvoted on that one. Uh so we got a very cool Boba Fett. I love the orange pauldrons and the very detailed print on the helmet. There's that awesome Darth Maul with the swinging action that I mentioned earlier. Luke Skywalker. K2SO is one of the more popular of these lines because he looks exactly like he does in the movie because he's got all these technical pieces and joints and stuff. So, you got Darth Vader on the left, some Captain Phasmas and Jango's down here. Snow Cone Trooper? That sounds pretty good, too, Daniel. That's good. I like that one. <laughs> Michael liked that one, so that one gets an upvote. Let's see. There's Jin Urso back there. You got Poe Dameron here as well. Glad to hear it, Scott. Now you just need the dormitory gift with purchase to display them all. There you go. Did you know they made a Lego... Oh, yeah, I forgot that one. Edwin? Got to get your head in the game. High School Musical. I know the character's name. It's called All Stormtroopers Have Bad Aim. Exactly. Can we see the Minecraft minifigs? Let's go look at that quarter. I like K2SO. It says Jolly Joe. Yes, that was a very good character and a very interesting looking character, too. A lot of uh, minifigures and robots, like the um, buildable figures made from him, are very popular, even in Lego, so... This is like the next nights of Star Wars. <laughs> Sorry, Josiah. We had a couple requests for it, so we had to look at it. Um, we've got Minecraft Steve and a variety of different armors. I like the diamond one right there. That one's pretty cool. That one's $20 for all those diamond armor pieces. You've got um, Alex over here as well. Some with diamonds, some with gold and other pieces. I like the different Minecraft skins you have up there. You have the bee, you have the enchanted bow. Just a bunch of cool characters here. So they are all in atlbrick.com as well. I like how we have all the cows and sheep and pigs and other animals. See the ocelot and the wolf. Very cool. There's even a pufferfish over there. I don't remember seeing a lot of pufferfish in the game, but you, I did catch them a lot when I went fishing. Speaking of Minecraft, if Lemurbricks were here, I'm sure he would mention to check out the Minecraft sets. So we'll look at that really quick for a second. We've got a lot of them right now. Normally we don't have quite this many, but we just have tons and tons of Minecraft right now.
And most of these are pretty collectible. Some of these aren't too bad, like this one here is only 30. But uh, some of them are much more expensive than that, so. I like this one here, this is pretty cool. I always find the nether stuff very interesting looking. That one's 35. Very nice. All right. Almost a complete set of gold 20th Harry Potter minifigs. There's always more to collect. Oh, oh yes, they had a lot of characters from that gold minifigure collectible series. I think they did the same thing with Ninjago too. So a lot of these were golden and you could collect them. I know Grant has every single one of them. He's a big Ninjago collector here. I'm a proud owner of the last Darth Garth minifig ever sold. He came yesterday, also got a Chris trading card. Oh, well, <laughs> there you go, Carter. That's awesome. That, those are some very collectible things to be acquiring from the store. I'm pretty sure we're out of Darth Garths, but we do have more Chris trading cards if you look up on the store. So, Just a few more, not too many. My geology students are always bringing up Minecraft in class. They already know that lava and water make obsidian. There you go. Is that really what happens, Geology Joe? Is that what uh, causes the uh, creation of obsidian in the rocks? Because I, I, I always thought it was just Minecraft being Minecraft. Like, I don't like the new Lego Ninjago series or the movie. I like the original one a lot. Uh, people say you can't be beat the classic. There you go, Edwin. I, I know that Lego Ninjago movie wasn't the best received one either. I wasn't a huge fan of it. The sets are cool, but the movie just wasn't quite working for me. I like most of the other Lego movies, though. Let's see. Uh, Willem says, Mark, me, me and you need to do a high school musical watch party since no one likes high school musical in the store. There you go, Willem. We'll have to do this one day. And then Geology Joe says, yes, that's how it could form. Wow. Mind blown, Geology Joe. I need to learn more about geology then, because that's pretty cool. But Geo Joe, do the same students go around punching trees to collect wood? <laughs> Probably, Morgan. You never know. Like where lava meets the ocean. Oh, I got it. I got that makes sense. Morgan, oh well, maybe. Yep, Geology Joe isn't denying the fact that, that could be a possibility. Do you have Axel from Next Nights? Sorry, but he's a cool minifig. No, no, Carter. We're not looking at Next. Uh, actually. I think it was maybe Grumpy Jay that asked, asked the other day too. I didn't see any out there, but let me ask here if we do have any, we'll see. Joe, do we have any Axel minifigs from Nexo Knights? We've had multiple requests for that figure. It's Axel spelled A-X-L, which is, you're a big fan? You take that back, Joe Wicker. Ah! Yes, thank you, Ethan. Oh, I said nobody likes That's what I said. Nobody likes oh, yeah. Nexonites, yeah. yeah I agree with you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. We don't, have any don't have any axles at all? Wow. So, we don't have any in the case either. So, yeah, we are out, guys. Sorry. I'm sure we'll get some in at some point, but right now we're out, so. Let's see. Grumpy just says, I did. Then uh, Willem says, Mark, your, which high school musical movie is your favorite? Obviously, actually, no, this isn't obvious. Everyone has a different favorite, but I like the second one. Just because they're all on vacation. They're at this crazy golf course. It's hilarious. It's the best, Steven. What are you saying? High school musical is cinematic gold. You've heard it here first, folks. It is. It, that's true. It's very laughable, yes. A new friend, see? Wasn't that the expensive fig? Um, no, that was, I think it was actually clay that was turning to stone. That was the expensive one, but I could be wrong. No, you were right. I was right on that one? Okay. There's the half stone clay, and then there's the full stone clay, and that one's very expensive. Yeah. Do you think the 332nd Trooper will be a good investment? Yeah. I'm, I don't know enough about that, um, absolutely. Red Shadows, but I'm guessing so. Joe is like, absolutely, so probably. Oh yeah, no, I haven't yet. Let's talk about that, Chris. What what is what do we got here on this counter? <clears throat> this, this is a, a really Steven's right. This is a real novelty. I don't know any Lego collector that would grade have a set graded. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't make sense for a Lego collector to do it. Yeah. So this had to have been a toy collector. Yeah. 
that that likes Lego as well. Mm -hmm. An action figure, comic book collector. And it's graded 9.0, which is okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty um, good. What's the highest rating you can get on these? Do you know? 10? Yeah. yeah. It's got a unique serial number, so you can look it up and see when it was graded and everything. Mm -hmm. um, usually, this will increase the price of whatever it is by two to four times. Yeah. Just because it's been professionally checked out, everything's good. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Very interesting. You can't open that case. I mean, it's sealed. Yeah, you'd have to you break it. it the yeah. Gone. You yeah. go into the. So. There's no way to actually yeah. physically open it either. It's sealed, though, right? Yes, yeah, so that's I've never you know seen a uh, graded Lego uh, set before. Mm -hmm. I've seen graded uh, Cloud City Boba Fett. Uh, yeah. And they stuck his torso all the way on the legs. Uh huh. So the graders don't know what they're doing. Yeah, they don't. No. And he could break at some point because his legs are stuck down like that. Wow, that's crazy. But this is such a unique thing. Can we see the back really quick? Is it the same plastic container in the back? Yeah. It's just visible in there. It's crazy. And that's a cool set, but I don't know if it's necessarily the one I would choose to put inside the grading system. That's interesting. Just to put it in through this, yeah. Wow. Very cool. So if anyone wants a gr professionally graded Lego set, that's now $600 for this whole package. So. This is a one-of-a-kind. Yeah, one-of-a-kind, yes. <laughs> it really is. Once something's graded, it's always a one-of-a-kind. It, it is, that's true. They give it a, you know, yeah. It's got a serial number on there. Yeah. Pretty neat. Very cool. Well, thank you, Chris. Yep. Let's see. Someone knows their Nexo. I don't know anything about Nexo Knights, Josiah. That's, that's ridiculous. I am a, an expert on Lego Friends, though, because I do the Heart Lake City drama episodes every week. They're pretty hilarious. So. Watch the first episode of the Nexo Night Show yesterday. Cringe. It tries so hard. Oh, no, Carter. I'm so sorry. Grumpy J, LOL. Lego Zombie says, please tell, please tell Chris that Mi Michaela passed the bar? Oh, yes. So that's one of our friends at the store. That's pretty awesome. So. Michaela, remember? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Tell her congratulations. That's fantastic. That thing is six hundred dollars. Is it anyone? Yeah. Well, it's graded. I mean, is your Lego set graded? No. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's six hundred dollars, Edwin. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, no. There, there's a lot of Lego sets that are that price for sure. So. Mark, my favorite is the third one. I can understand. That's a pretty cool one. I watched the Friends playlist. Is that all you have done? Uh, so far, Josiah, that's all we've done. But we have another three or four that we'll be releasing every Friday at around 1 to 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So, Whoa, I should get my signed Joe and signed Mark trading cards uh, stabbed and uh, slabbed and graded. There you go. Yes, Scott. The... the they, they would be probably either high nines or ten because they're pretty amazing, so. I think mine would be a little bit better. And then uh, Carter says, I don't know why I thought it was so cool when it came out. Exactly, Carter. Now you know the truth about Nexa Nights. It was posing. So this is one of our customers, if he's watching right now. It's uh, Howie the Hunter. Mm-hmm. And he is the, the famous customer. Yeah. That when was he was asked uh, who is his favorite Atlanta Brickco employee, mm -hmm. he said Grant and Vogan. It might not have been his favorite. It was the best, I think. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so Grant and Vogan were the best, according yeah. to Howie. Above so. all of us. Yeah. So. Apparently there's a tier Howie system for is, uh, He made these cards for us. He mm -hmm. autographed them. Um, and he's uh, an 11-year-old. And his only weaknesses are nukes and getting hit by a car. Exactly. That, those are pretty... Yeah. Those are weaknesses, but that's very rare to happen, too, so... Those are the only ones, too, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, snake bite. <laughs> yeah, snake bites, yeah. Airplane accident, not on the radar. Mm-hmm. So this good. would be a good card to get graded. That would, yeah. Those trading cards are pretty cool, pretty unique. I'm going to have my Darth Garth minifig graded. There you go, Morgan. <laughs> that would be pretty hilarious. Do it. Uh... Carter says, did y'all just get the Indiana Jones set in? No, we've had them for a week or two, a couple weeks. So they're still here. Uh, they were certified complete by us. So they're very, very cool. Very affordable too. And what about your Lego set reviews on Instagram? When is the next one? Oh, that's a good question, Josiah. I have one that I filmed 
and I have one that I have planning to do, but I haven't filmed that one. So there's a couple more that are coming out. Um, they are pretty fun, so I got to keep those rolling for sure. I have seen a lot of Lego sets in stores that are crazy for what Lego is asking for because Lego has lost their bricks. That sounds about right, Edwin. Some of the Lego sets released today are pretty expensive. So I think that maybe we're gonna see some Lego sets not sell as quickly because they're pricing them higher. So it's interesting. We'll see how that goes though. Got yours, Joe's, and Chris's trading cards on display in my office. There you go, Giorgio, that's awesome. Well, thank you. I, I, that is fantastic. I'm glad you guys appreciate the cards. I know that kid Howie, says Carter. There you go. It was so weird seeing him on a YouTube vid. LOL. That happens, you know? Exactly. There's Bricksmith. Woo, hello, Lego family. Good to see you, Bricksmith. Thanks for joining us. We are looking at all the series collectible minifigures we have for sale. Angie has very, very diligently worked on almost all of them. She's got the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen series done so far. And they look majestic. We've got almost all of them in stock. A few of them have been sold out, like the Pretzel Girl sold out right away. I don't know what's so what's going on with the Pretzel Girl, but she is super popular. We also sold that of the plunger, plumber guy. He's a cool figure too. Uh-oh. Yep, we got Morgan and Double King dropping the band hammer really quick. So thank you guys. We got an AI bot. Yep. I think we've got a couple moderators on the scene. So thank you guys so much. And here's some of our cool pieces that we have for sale in the front case. I'm really liking those flame pieces. Four for a dollar is a pretty good deal. That's why Morgan is, is the man. Exactly, Carter. Proud of our moderators taking care of that quickly. Uh, seaweed coral, 75 cents each. I wish I got some of those green ones because those are very useful. Geology Joe says, thanks mods. Yes, thank you guys. Oh, look at the turkey legs too. That, those will be very useful in about two or three weeks when, uh, actually, excuse me, a little, few more weeks when Thanksgiving shows up. And Vogan is adding more sets onto the website for us there. More polybags being added too. Very nice. Thank you, Vogan. So when he's not doing epic rap battles, he's actually adding sets online. It's pretty cool. All right. Any other requests? We've still got a good seven minutes left of stream. And we've got some time. But if, in the meantime, I want to tell you, I've got the coffee shop going here. We've got one small building going right here. One larger three-sided building going right there. One small building in the back right there behind Ed's Pawn Shop. One medium-sized building going right here. Angie is working on a corner building right here, kind of an L-shaped building. Steven is working on the pizzeria to go right here. We've got one other large building right there as well, about the same size as the Star Wars Cantina. So we will all be working on these buildings in the next week or two and eventually get all those done. Uh oh, spam this way. Morgan is the man. Yep. Let's see. I'd love to see a stop motion animation of 300 stormtroopers based on the movie 300, and they all miss the Jedi. <laughs> oh my goodness. I would like to see 300 Jedi fight unlimited amount of stormtroopers. That'd be pretty cool. Let's see. Shields up. Exactly. Do you think the castle is worth it? I want the chat's thoughts too that's a good question carter i think the castle is worth it but it is very expensive so it might not be worth it for everyone yep what do you have of elves now we can check on that ryland let's go look at that for us here go look at the elves section of the store gotta get past some customers and vogan working 
over here by the friends stuff, we have some elves back here. So we have, first of all, the elves display case, one of the dragon sets above, certified complete. That one's $100, pretty cool, it's got that orange dragon. You've got this goblin village. Rescue from the goblin village, that's pretty cool. You've got this giant portal castle here, Skyra's Mysterious Sky Castle. That's pretty cool. Skyra's a pretty simple name, but it's a pretty cool set. You got Emily and Noctura's Showdown. I like that carriage with the wings. That's pretty interesting. You got N Nida's Epic Adventure Ship. I believe I'm probably butchering the names, but you get it. Emily Jones, I can pronounce. Emily Jones and the Eagle Getaway. That's cool. Several elves sets. Here's all the elves figures. Got all the goblins. Got all the elves characters. They're very cool capes and hair pieces. Can we see Space Police? Yeah, we've had multiple requests for Space Police, so let's go look at that as soon as we're done with elves. Got just a few more elves, dragons, elves sets. There's all the elves' animals. And that's about all we've got for elves. We do have a pretty good case of it, though, so very happy to see that. I missed out on elves. I did not get enough elf sets when they first came out, so now I'm wishing I had bought them back when they were a little bit more affordable. They're still not bad, but they're not super cheap anymore. So. That's the best star on a tree I have ever seen. There you go, Josiah. <laughs> They're awesome. Hello from Armorillo, Texas. Good to see you, Raymond. Let's look at the Space Police stuff, if we have any. I see Space Police 2 up there. There's a little rover. That one's $40. You've got a Blacktron 1 walker thingy right there. That's not Space Police, but it's very similar to it. Let's see, there's Space Police 3, the Squidman escape set, and over in the back, kind of hiding behind that mech. Let's see if I can zoom in, there you go. So that's a pretty cool set, I remember getting that one when I was a little younger. And I'm not seeing, there's another Space Police 3 set, there's a little space getaway vehicle for that creepy alien guy. And that looks like about it. There might be a little bit more over to the right. Yes, wish I had pirates, says Raymond. There you go. Pirates are pretty awesome, too. We're looking at pirates right now, I think. $20. Oh, where's Daniel? Oh! <laughs> he surprised me. He was right behind me as I was reading comments. I think so, but I can't afford it right now, said Jelly Joe. Yeah, it's not cheap. I think we're talking about the 90th anniversary castle, if I'm not mistaken. There's the pirate sets we're looking at, and I'm not seeing any other space police. Oh, 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 I was kidding. We got one big space police rover up here, and the price tag is $169.99. It's pretty cool. Can we see the Pirates of the Caribbean sets and minifigures? Yes, Carter. We can look at that. <laughs> Both Morgan and Carter dropping the Daniel emojis. Got some comments dealt with here. Some spam stuff. Excuse me, guys. We had a request for Pirates of the Caribbean, so we're going to go look at that now. Yeah, lots of spam happening, guys. Sorry about that. We've only got another minute left, so it's, we're almost wrapped up for the day. So there is some Pirates of the Caribbean. We've got some of the good characters like Blackbeard, Barbarossa, Jack Sparrow, Will Turner. Pretty cool. There's the mermaids as well. So those are all at atlbook.com as well. I don't think we have any Pirates of the Caribbean sets right now. Oh, nope. We've got one hiding back down here. We have 
uh, I think Blackbeard's ship, and it's above the doorway to your office. Ah, that would be a good one to look at really quick for a final thing. Let's head that direction for us here. So there's a little bit of Pirates of the Caribbean. You've got the Silent Mary for two seventy five ninety nine, and you've got the Queen Anne's Revenge for six hundred dollars. So very nice. And with that, we're going to finish up the live stream for today. Thank you so much for joining us, and appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got so many more cool videos coming out soon. We'll see you then. Bye, bye, guys.